All right, what's really good, everybody? Uh, I already got the bike taken apart. I'm, gonna, I'm pinning the uh, chain guard right now. It's hard to get it all on film just because I don't have anyone to help me hold the camera. Uh, I got this, this is the back fender. I just taped off these little arms. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scuff this with some 800 grit. That just helps uh, helps knock down that first layer and then I could build on top of that with the, uh, I'm using Rust-Oleum. It has paint and primer, so it's pretty good for the base coat that I'm using. But I also, I'm using that to clean before and after um, sanding because I had, uh, you could still see where like the decals were here. I haven't cleaned this one yet or scuffed it. So after that, I'll get all this extra debris off. And then I use the Rust-Oleum and the Krylon Glitter Blast. I'll show you real quick how this stuff looks. It's pretty cool. All right, so far, this is the chain guard. You can see the glitter flakes there. I have it in the shade right now, so you can't really tell as much, but it's pretty heavy on there. I, I only did one coat of it and it came out pretty nice. Uh, and then I'm hitting it up with this. Right now it has a light layer of clear on it, but I'm gonna build up probably like three or four layers. Three coats. Um, yeah, it's gonna look pretty sick once it's done. All right, I, I moved it in the sun so you guys could see a bit more of the flake. There's still a wet coat of clear on here that I sprayed. So that's three coats so far. I'm still gonna have to uh, probably wet sand it and buff at the end. But so far, I like how this stuff's coming out. Looks pretty sick. The camera's not picking it up like as much in person, but it looks pretty sick. All right, so this is how it looks after spraying a base coat of Rust-Oleum. So it's still kind of wet, but I'll add a little bit on just so you guys can see. I'm just using real light strokes, getting a nice light layer of paint on. And then I'm gonna build up over it with that well, you don't really have to build over it, but I mean, that the flake adds on to it after. So there's the fender after a small base coat. All right, so I know I skipped a bunch of parts, but you guys get the gist of how to paint it. It was in really a tutorial, just showing you what I'm working on. So I got the sparkly fender. Oh, that's why I forgot. I forgot to put the chain guard back on. So I was just ready to cruise it. It rides really good. The camera's not really picking up how much flake is on there, but it looks sick. Cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that chain guard back on, but that'll be it for this video. I'll show you guys next time when I do the grips and the pedals. And I ordered a light for the front too. So yeah, keep checking back.